Welcome to the Sage Pestle Accounting How-To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to bring in stock using inventory journals. Firstly, open your Sage Pestle Accounting program and open your company data set. Then click on Process, Inventory Journals. The Inventory Journals process screen will display. Select the period that you wish to use to bring your stock in, and then click on Settings. You can choose between the following settings to auto-increment your reference numbers, which means that your reference numbers will increase automatically, making each reference number unique. If your reference number ends in a letter, it will increment based on the alphabet. So if your first reference number ends in an A, the next reference number will then end in a B and the next one in a C. If, however, your reference numbers end in numbers, if the first reference number ends in a 1, it will increment the next reference number to a 2 and the one thereafter to a 3. We strongly advise that you automatically increment your reference numbers to ensure that each reference number is unique and that when reconciling the batch or your accounts, this can make it easy to reconcile. You also have the option to repeat narrations. Narrations are your item descriptions. If you choose to repeat the description of the item, the first item code you select will pull through the description from the item file, and this will be repeated for every single item thereafter. We strongly advise that you do not repeat the narrations, as although the inventory codes will differ, the entire batch's description will be the same as the first line, and this again can make it difficult for reconciling the account. You can choose to repeat projects. This can be very helpful if you are processing a batch for the same project, as when you enter the project on the first line, it will repeat the project for every line thereafter. If, however, you are processing a batch for multiple projects, we would advise that you turn this off, as otherwise you will need to manually go and change the project each and every time. You have the option to also email documents. On the bottom left of the process screen, you will notice that there are buttons, namely Delete, Email Batch, Update Batch, Batch, and the Settings button that you clicked on. If you untick the option to Email Document, the second button will change from Email Batch to Print Batch. This allows you to toggle between printing the batch to a printer or emailing the batch to a specified email address. If you're running Sage Pastel Partner with the add-on module Serial Number Tracker, you will also have the option to print serial numbers. You can tick this option if you wish it to print the serial numbers that you select when bringing in the stock. Once you have made the necessary setting selections, you are ready to process your batch. Where you see Inventory Code, click on the magnifying glass and this will bring up your inventory. You can then select the item codes that you are bringing into stock. Select the narration which should pull through automatically from the item file and select the date that you wish to use to bring the stock in on. Enter a reference number and then enter the quantity that you are bringing into stock. You will also need to enter the unit cost as well as select the GL account. This is the Contra account, so while the Inventory Control account will be debited, the General Ledger account will be credited. If you click on the magnifying glass, by default, the Inventory Adjustment account is always selected. You will need to do this for each and every item that you are bringing into stock. You will notice that on my second line, my narration has pulled through from the item file because I did not repeat narrations. However, I did select to automatically increment my reference numbers. And you will notice that on the reference column, it has been incremented from a 3 to a 4 automatically. Once you have entered all of the stuff that you are bringing in, you will need to update the batch. You can also choose whether you wish to print the batch or email the batch, depending on your settings, whether you chose to email documents or not. Once you click on Update Batch, you will also have the option to back up before updating or, again, to print the batch. If you select to make a backup and you click on Update, the File Backup screen will display. You will then need to choose where you wish to backup as well as the folder to use and click on you will be asked to test the backup 
and then you will be asked to close. The moment you click on close, the batch will be updated automatically. You have now brought in your stock using an inventory journal.